Hey guys, Dr. Cobra here. Got another treat for you guys. Um, this is a series between Omid, who is Pink Zerg player, and Frozen Thrawn, who is Yellow Protoss. Um, in case you didn't know, this is a game from... Come on, computer. You can do it. You can do it! Anyways, this is a game from um, the Team Karma tryouts. And so this game is a... It's not a best of five series, it's a five game series. Just five straight games played. Um, and Omid and Frozen Thawne claim that this is an incredible series. Uh, so I'm going to cast it for him. Uh, Omid is Master's level, in case you didn't know, and Frozen Thrawn is a high diamond. Um, I have played against both of these players, uh, but when I played Frozen Thrawn, it was PvP, so I don't really know much about his PvC style. However, uh, I do know some about Omid's uh, ZVP. He does seem to be uh, a very reactive player, but also aggressive. He, uh, a lot of Zergs like to play defensively and reactively, uh, but Omid seems to be more of an aggressive reactive player. Uh, so we'll see how that plays out. I'm going gas first, so I'm going to see a pool here in a second, and he's going to be going for speed. Uh, Frozen Thrawn doing nothing exciting, just scouting with that probe and starting his wall off. Let's see if Omid is going to try to block this cyber core. Well, actually, that's a little early for the cyber core, but he's still over here to annoy this probe. Drone does beat a probe in a fight. Oh, and yes, the probe goes down, uh, but his buddy probe comes and gets a little revenge. Um, and back here, it looks like, if you check the supply, it looks like Frozen Thrawn lost another probe up here somewhere. Uh, so Omi must have grabbed him. And if you check out this wall off that Frozen Thrawn is doing, if I'm not mistaken, this is... Yeah. Um, he's got the gateway and the cyber core on the outside, and he's going to put the zealot right there to block. Um, and most of you probably know what this is, but it's to stop three roach rush. Um, because with three roach rush, if you get an overlord to give you sight, and you're blocking right here with the zealot, the roaches can snipe the zealot, and then zerglings just run in, and you're pretty much done for because you can't do anything. Uh, however, Omid is not going for a three roach rush, so uh, you know nothing to be scared of, I guess. The only downside to this is it is slightly more susceptible to a baneling bust, just because pylon is, has a whole lot less health than a gateway. Uh, but you know. It, it's safer against one thing, not as safe against another. It's kind of how StarCraft goes. So yeah, speed and a queen on the way. I imagine he's going to take out this probe and then put down a hatchery at about the same time. Uh, putting guys back onto gas already, that uh, tells me that he's probably going to be going for a roach horn here soon, or maybe just some early layer action. And if we check down in Frozen Thrawn's base, and I don't know why my computer's having so much trouble right now. Actually makes me a little bit sad. Um, so he does have two gateways out now. This is probably going to put down a third gateway, I want to say. Third gateway now. There it is. Yeah, so it looks like he's going to go for the three gateway sentry expand. Uh, which is, you know, probably the most standard build uh, in PvZ right now. I'm sorry, I don't know why my computer is, like, dying over here. Frame rate dropping. Hold on a second, I'm gonna pause the recording. Well, my apologies, I don't really know what's wrong, but... It looks a little bit better right now, hopefully it'll stay that way. So, Omid poking up here, uh... I think he saw all three gates. Yeah, he did see all three gateways, and he saw the sentry. So he knows what's up. Um, he did manage to get down his expansion as well. Look at that nasty little drone swimming around in there. And evolution chamber and a spine crawler. Uh, so I was wrong, not Roach Warren. Looks like he's going to be going for this uh, mass upgraded leaves, which has kind of become popular lately. Um, so we'll see how that works out for him. Quite a few drones on the way. And he's safe for right now. Uh, hallucination on the way for Frozen Thrawn. Uh, I imagine he's about to plot down his nexus here 
as soon as he gets 400 minerals. Coming out here to clear any scout zerglings, but there are none. Omid does have the towers, and he's about to send in this sacrificial overlord just to make sure there's no, like, tricky, sneaky foregate or uh, Blake coming, something like that. And this buddy is about to come over and down next, I believe. Struggling taking out that probe who tried to go take over the tower. Not gonna happen, sorry probe. So it might come get revenge, but no, he kind of missed there. Nexus, yep, there's the Nexus. And this overlord has seen pretty much everything. I'm gonna check down here just to see if there's not a gateway hidden down there. Is he gonna get there? Yeah, I think he got sight of everything in the base. And he sees the Nexus down here, so he knows what's up. Uh, plus one armor on the way first. Got a couple spine crawlers just to be safe. Right, There's a little bit of supply block because of that scouting overlord, but definitely worth it. Uh, check out the units. Um, Omid is, you know, he got out quite a few Zerglings um, just to be safe. Maybe a couple too many. Uh, but better safe than sorry, so it only has a two harvest rate advantage, but he's making 11 drones right now, and he's got the lair on the way, so. Doing a good job of just running around with these lings. Uh, we do have a scout probe going to come in and try to see what's up, but he's going to get intercepted, I believe. Oh, maybe not. Oh, he's not scouting. He is putting down a proxy pylon, so we could see some sort of, like, timing push. For the next Although I can't say I would advise it only off of three gateways. They're throwing down another gateway. I guess he's even gonna put one more gateway. Nope, just can it. So a little bit of engagement. Good surround by the Zerglings. Pretty good force fields. Although he ran out from behind the force fields, he should have just stayed there. So I managed to pick off a couple stalkers, maybe a sentry or two. Uh, and that's actually pretty big because sentries cost infinity billion gas. So chrono boosting out. Plus one attack. And Omid is going for his plus one attack now. Looks like he's going to get ready to take this through. Lair is up. He doesn't have any lair tech other than plus two armor on the way, so yeah. Just pretty much still going for mass link and mass upgrades right now. Check the drone count again. 46 over 26. That's actually uh, pretty huge. Uh, Frozen Thrones falling a little bit behind on pro production. Uh, more gateways coming up, so this is going to be six gates. And he's going to have plus one. I'm going to assume he's going to try a six gate timing attack. One, and that's what this pylon's for. Ooh, but are these zerglings gonna find it? No runs right by it. So here go these zealots. They're gonna come try to do some damage, but with uh, the spine crawlers in here and the zerglings gonna be able to come back pretty quickly. Not gonna do much damage. Um, Spire on the way somewhere. There it is. And the zealots, they kill one drone, and that's it. Only one drone kill, so not a very good trade-off right there. Wait, where's the spire? There it is. And, yep, there he found that final. So spire on the way. I'm going to guess this is for Mutas because he has so much gas saved up and there's no Colossus on the way. Um, and that could be pretty hard to deal with for Frozen Throne since he doesn't have much anti-air other than a couple stalkers and sentries. Quite a few drones on the way for Omid. Um, and he's got up this third base, so... I would say Omid is definitely looking like he's in the lead. Um, Frozen Thrawn's gonna have to do some real damage. This is, uh, some pretty good force fields there, scaring off the Zerglings, trapping a couple of them. Guardian shield for no apparent reason, but I'll let that slide. So, 
not going to engage, although I think he should have because he could have taken out those lings. And the mutas are now out. Does he know about that spire? He does know about it. He did see it. So, it's so we're bringing only stalkers now, which is a good idea. Good force field on the ramp, trapping a couple of up there. Good force field's producing an area, but it is all attack. Here come the mutas, but that's not enough to do anything. Guardian Shield is going to take out these queens. The mutas are growing in number, though. Zergling's not doing very much damage, but maybe just enough to let the mutas clean up. No, not yet. So this six warp gate type is pretty strong. More reinforcements coming in for Frozen Claw. These units off by themselves. Oh, not a good thing. Losing quite a few sentries right there. That's a third block. Here come the mutas trying to do more damage. Not able to pick anything off through. To get a sentry there. Twelve more zerglings on the way. And looks like the mutas are going to be cleaned up. Oh, good force field on the ramp. Going for the spire. Hitting the spire. Gonna get it. Yeah, you cancel the upgrade by OP. Good job there. Trying to get more and more links, but you do lose that queen of those two queens of the natural that hurts the queen production. Yeah, this is pretty close. 24 links on the way. I think he's gonna be able to clean this up right here. Uh, I'm not sure. He's running some links. He needed to wait till he got all of them, I think. We had more zealots reinforcing the number great against the links. Oh man, this is just such a close fight. The drone's coming out. You know you're in trouble when the drones are coming. Not enough wings. Down goes the queen from the main. And quite a few drones have gone down. Quite a few things have gone down. Oh, it looks like the frozen drone is going to pull through here. Now starting to attack some overlords. Still more circling's coming in, but more reinforcements from frozen Thrawn coming in. Mostly zealots right now, good choice. He's gonna get this queen that just spawned, but she did manage to get an inject off. More zerglings coming in, trying to do damage. They are plus two, plus one, but still not doing enough damage, although they're gonna take out one, two, three stalkers. Four stalkers right here. That's pretty good. Still more left, five stalkers down. Six stalkers, seven stalkers. He took down all the stalkers. Only zealots left, but there are no units left on the field. He did lose that hatchery, but he still does have two hatches up, so he's gonna be okay. I think he can just kill off all the zealots. Oh, quite a few spine crawlers coming down. This is a good idea if he can give him time to actually get up. I don't know though. Oh man, the Zerglings. I think the Zerglings are gonna hold. Ah! Oh, the zealots can make it through. They do start hitting. Uh, the spine crawlers have to cancel one. Uh, I don't think he's got time to get him up. Oh, we lost that one right there. Zergling's delaying for just long enough. Ah. Oh, he is going to get this one up. No, he cancels all of them. Here come the Zerglings. Finally going to clean this up right here, but more reinforcements coming. Still more Zerglings. Look, Omi is just putting down hatches everywhere. Oh, I missed this. Uh, Zealot's coming over here. I think they... No, they didn't kill all the drones. Drone train away. So that's good. Here come the upgraded Zerglings. Able to take down pretty much all the stalkers. Uh, Omid really needs to get some more mutas right now to help clean up all the zealots. Oh man, it looks like the aggression slows down for just a second. Take a look at the unit tab. 37 probes and 32 drones. We do have 34 Zerglings out. Uh, that might be enough to clean this up. Here we go, Zerglings coming in. He's gonna bring these over too. Looks like he's gonna clean up those zealots. Can he push them back to this proxy pylon? Can he take out the proxy pylon? That's what he needs to do right now. More zealots coming over here after they killed uh, at least one hatchery, possibly three. I don't know if he canceled those others. Trying to get his natural back up. Probably a good idea. Oh yeah, he lost his spire. That's why he has no mutas. Duh. Rebuilding the spire. Um, starting quite a few spines. If he can get these spines up, I think he's finally going to be okay. What's it? Seven spines? Man, just a ton of damage done with that six gate. Um, and he's still coming. Quite a few leanings out though right now. And 
Spine's finishing up. Romine's gonna be fine right here. Oh, getting a good surround, not letting him escape. Zealot, plus one Zealot's gonna be doing a really good job of this Zealot's but I think it's just too many Zealot's. Yeah, he's finally gonna be able to push all the way back to this proxy. Yep, Frozen Throng does have to retreat. Wow, that was a really long time of exciting <laughs> play right there. And yeah, I don't I don't think Frozen Throng has enough to defend here. Those two cannons will actually uh, help him out. So Spire almost finished. Going to be quite a few Mutas coming out for Omid uh, pretty quickly. Uh, the main is basically mined out for Frozen Throng. And he hasn't taken a third. And hasn't saved that money for another uh, I think he's about to be in trouble. He's way behind right now. He did do quite a bit of damage with uh, the six gate, uh, but he just kept, you know, he didn't do the damage and take out the hatch and then take out this one and then go home and expand. He, uh, I think he overcommitted a little bit to the point that uh, he didn't give himself enough, you know, of a window to take an expansion of his own, so I think Omid has this one, but we'll see. One Muta out. Um, he's got enough gas, but you know, a ton more Mutas. As soon as he gets a few more minerals, uh, uh, we're going to see a lot of Mutas. Nope, we're going to see a lot of drones. Uh, we're going to see a lot of Mutas here in a little bit. And then that'll probably end the game. Just because Frozen Thrawn has a lot of Zealots. And making Void Rays, which uh, do not do all that well against Mutas unless they are in like gigantic numbers. In which case they do well against everything. <laughs> Alright, so Void Ray going to go out, try to take a little bit of map control, maybe harass uh, some bases, but I do believe he is going to be short-lived because there are... Four mutas out, four more on the way. Oh, there's another one. So, bye bye, Mr. Boybury. That thought valuably, Sir Boybury. I've always wondered where, where did the pilots sit? Lucky there's a pilot because here's his picture down in the portrait. There's, I don't even see a cockpit in there. Oh well, that doesn't particularly matter. Uh, so yeah, Frozen Thrawn kind of forced to sit back and make units. Phoenix is a better choice because Phoenix are pretty good against Mutas. Uh, forced to sit back and make units so he doesn't die. He's going to try to expand, but I can't imagine this staying up. Check, check the army tab. The lead is up by uh, uh, more than 20. And although that is not, you know, just those two numbers is not too much to come back from. Look how many zealots he has compared to this giant muta clump. He just doesn't have enough anti-air to deal with this. And I think these mutas are going to end the game right here. So warping into stalkers, moving Odin is over other stalkers. He has a phoenix. Uh, Omid smartly killing him. He does manage to pick off that Phoenix. Uh, now up by 25 supply. And his economy is uh, not as good as I expected, but still pretty good. Got some more mutas to add to the bunch. Flock. He's going to take this gold base. Uh, if I were him, I would definitely come harass this third. Because... Uh, you know, that's, that's the best way for Frozen Thrawn to get back in this game, is taking, you know, if he's able to get up there. Uh, so moving out a little bit, I'm going to move in right to this giant line of spine crawlers. No, changes his mind smartly. Uh, might take out this third hatch, because there's not a lot of things. In come the mutas, though. Can anything stop him? I don't know. Oh, good job with the Zerglings. Wait until the Zealots move out. We're going to take out all these stalkers with the Zerglings. A lot of drones going to die up here. Uh, but here come the Mutas to clean up. Harvester count actually even right now. So let's 
surprising. Uh, but Frozen Thrawn does have to GG because he lost all of his anti-air except for that Phoenix and those four Stalkers, which do not do well against 17 Mutas. Uh, so, wow, really well played game, really exciting. Um, come back for game two next time.